I don't really like this ATM. It's not dispensing. Why not try another ATM then? No, this is the only nearby ATM and I don't want to stress you much. Mmm, I see. But did I complain? You mustn't have to complain, darling. Before I know I'm not supposed to stress you. Okay. So where are you up to after here now? Mmm, I'll just go back to the office, pick up my things and go home. I'm stressed out already. Kaima! Wait a minute. And a dream I've been awaiting. Kaima, now you be this. Wow, Toby, what are you doing here? Sorry, you came to rejo. Yeah. Ah, Kaima, it's been long ago. Toby, come, let me tell you something. Come. Ah, ah, Kaima, what's wrong? This one you are dragging me. Hope all is well. All is not well. How will you be calling me Kaima dead? There's someone there that shouldn't know my initial name. And you just spoiled my show. But you know, tell me say you don't change name now. Nah. Anyway, I'm sorry for that. But... Who is that man with you? Abi, you don't marry and you don't invite us smoke on chop rice, Abi. Yes. That's the person I don't want well, him to, to know say. me. That is Ikem. I don't want him to know it's me. Wait a minute, which he came? You mean he came our friend? Sorry, your mm -hmm, when we were small. Don't be silly. That's him. And I don't want him to know me. God, Toby, you are too stubborn. You know the hear word. Oh my God, he came. He came half an hour. Oh my god, how did you know my name? Oh, sorry, she might have told you. Forget me, she told me. Don't you know me again? I don't know you, man. No be your fault. You don't chop money. Your eye don't cover. Everywhere for your body don't cover. Where? I'm Toby Ereme, your childhood friend. And that's Kaima. Yes! Mm hmm, you understand? What, Toby? You? Yes, so oh, not me. Uh uh, it's been long, ago. so how are you? I'm fine, bro. And you say she's... Kaima now, your headache back then. Ah! She said she not tell you that she don't want you to know her. Yes. Ah, my mouth. Well, I no, it's fine. It's fine. No, it's not fine, no. See what will happen, eh? Just pretend as if I never told you anything. You got the point now. Bro, you have no problem. It's fine, okay? Mm-hmm. But you both look pretty together. When I came, I even thought you were her husband. Well, my bad thinking. Yes, your bad thinking. And Toby, I was thinking if you go to the hospital so that they will cut off the sore tongue because you talk too much and that is very bad. You can't even control what to say. Even when I told you not to tell him, you then do the worst by describing me to him. Well, it's fine. I'm sorry, Kaima. You are still even calling me Kaima. I see. Ah uh ah. -uh. I didn't want to know now. I be your mama give you another name. For Call me Cindy. That's my name. Ah, Ogao. Now you have messed this up for me. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Nothing. Just admiring your beauty. Or maybe checking if you are really the Kaima I knew back then. Hello guys. See guys, let's just pretend that this never happened, okay? He can just forget. She's not Kaima, she's Cindy, okay? But wait though. Kaima, what's your reason for lying to Ikem? Abi, Ikem, you know the reason I'm too. Like, what's her reason from hiding her identity from you? Rubbish. Ah uh ah, -uh, it never reached like this now. Okay, come give me your number, we will talk later. Ah uh ah, -uh, my guy, what's wrong with Tana? My brother, if you ask me, now who I go ask? <laughs> <laughs> Mama, my name is OKK Emmanuel, and I have come to seek your daughter's hand in marriage. I so much love your daughter, man, and I can do anything for her if she accepts to be my wife. The last time I saw her, she told me she has a fiancé. But due to the love I have for her, I couldn't rest and I said, let me come to you, the mother, and seek for your opinion. You have come to the wrong place at the right time, because this is not my house where you should have come to seek my opinion. But anyway, good you came. First of all, what do you do for a living, my son? Well, I'm the CEO and managing director of Emmanuel Luxury Car Limited. I specialize on importation of different varieties of cars. Wow, I'm so happy to hear that. You know, when I look at you, I saw that you are a gentleman. Thank you, Mama. Mama, I promise you if your daughter Juliet marries me, I will make her happy for the rest of her life. And in fact, Mama, this is for you for a start. And if your daughter finally marries me, then my wealth will be yours forever. My son, I would have loved to collect this money, but I will not. 
Not as if I'm rejecting your money, but as a responsible mother I am. Me collecting this money will make it look as if you are bribing me to give you my daughter hand in marriage. No, Mama. Actually, I gave you this money to let you know that every of my mission here is real and I meant every of my words here. My love for your daughter is like a mustard seed. You collecting this little money from me will tell me that you duly accept me as your son-in-law. Okay, my son. If you say so, then let me call the bone of contention and let's hear from her. If she knows you, then I will convince her to marry you. Because I know you love my daughter so much. And even if it would take a hundred days for her to love you, I will do that because love takes time and more especially when you have two men in your life. No problem, Mama. I know she loves me, just that she says she has a fiancé already. Can he afford this money you gave me? This money here can pay his house rent for two years. Um, Mama, are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Juliet! Julie, Julie! Nah! Please, come! Ah, ah, Mr. Manuel! What are you doing here? How do you get my address? Please come and be going before my fiancé comes and see you. Which fiancé? Can your stupid fiancé afford this kind of money? Oh, you have used money to bribe my mom, Abby? Come on, will you shut up? You didn't even wait to know why I'm calling you. You just a shout anyhow. Don't let me change up for you. Do you know this young man? Sorry, I know you know him already. So, how did you know this young money? Sorry, young man. Mama, he's just a helper to me. Babe, I'm not just your helper. I love you the moment I saw you that day. I'm in love with you. Not me. Go and look for your lover X-ray. Cause I can never have anything to do with you, okay? Wait, mama. Is this why you called me? Please, I was busy inside. Thank you. Babe. Babe. My son, leave her to me. I will do a one, in fact, a two devil work. She will marry you. You are a god saint, my son. So worry no more. Thank you, Mama. I must confess you are such a good woman and a good mother that everybody will pray to have. Thank you, my son. Please, Mom, I will be going now. I have some things to catch up with. No problem, my son. She is yours, so. Thank you, Mama. Yo, I'm so happy today. At least the mother is on my side. It's true that with money, you can get anything you want in life. I just need to feed her with more money and more goodies. And as for Juliet, I will do anything to have her, or else my money finishes, which I'm not sure will happen. That girl fine share. If I cut that one for bed then. In fact, let me leave the long talk for the poor masses. Three men don't talk much. Jerigo Dio, so my daughter have this kind of handsome rich young man begging to marry her and she have been refusing because of that handicap Ruben. She must marry him. Ah uh ah, -uh. this man have money. Look at the kind of big money he gave to me. This one is enough to pay her bride price now. Ah uh ah, -uh. and she is refusing. Hmm. Someone will not know what she have until she loses it. I'm with you spiritually. Mama, I swear you sure die. Twale for you, Mama. I'm on this job now, sure one. In fact, one goes out for you. Mama, I swear you be the real Mama. Hey, hey, hey. make no they make noise before I become a suspect. Scorpion. Mama. Make sure you do a clean job. Mama, you no get problem. Trust me, we go deliver. I don't fall your hand before. I know they fail you now. I don't hear. When you make when I begin match, they go. Stop making promises, just deliver. Mama, so quick. No, give us one bottle of an SMO you school of. You have 48 hours to deliver. Just 48 hours. Or you get going now. Don't stand there and stare at me like morons. What? 
Why are you just sit there staring at me? Cindy, what have I done to you? Have I done anything wrong to you? You knew fully well that you are the Kaima and you kept quiet all this while. Cindy, what's your reason for punishing me? What are you hiding from me? I'm not hiding anything from you, Mr. Simon. I'm not. You know, some things are better kept unsaid. I never wanted you to know I'm Kaima. But now, you have known. Darling, please tell me your reasons why you don't want me to know that you are Kaima. Have I offended you? You've not offended me anywhere, Mr. Simon. Then what is it? Um, please, can I be left alone? You cannot be left alone, darling. Because you are hurting me. Really hurting me. Okay, you knew it was me and you rejected me. I can remember vividly that we have feelings for each other. Just that we weren't able to take our feelings to a higher level. Darling, I searched for you. I looked everywhere for you. I almost gave up. Not knowing God have sent you to me, and devil have shut your mouth from you telling me who you are. I'm really in pain. I searched for you, even in my dream. I also searched for you. I searched for you to the extent that almost took my life. But my cousin sister advised me to move on. That maybe you're not meant for me. And I took her advice and got a boyfriend that year. And he broke my heart. And I decided to remain single to the day God will send someone that will love me for who I am. Darling, I'm here now. I have really missed you. When you told me the story about yourself, and I knew it's you. I couldn't just let it out to tell you that I'm Kaima. I said let me watch you closer, cause my past experience caused me pain and teaches me lessons to be careful with men. I'm sorry for the pains I caused you, darling. Let's make everything right. And please, stop crying. It pains my heart seeing you crying. Regardless of the feeling we had for each other, I said to myself, let me watch you closer and see if the love we claim to have for Kaima is real. When you asked me out at the beach and I rejected you, no doubt I don't love you, nor feel anything for you, just that I'm a kind of person that don't have the mind to withstand pains. Darling, I will never in my life break your heart. Hurting you means hurting myself as well. Cause you are the flesh of my flesh. Nothing in this life will ever make me to break your heart, okay? That is exactly what you guys normally say, but you never meant it. You see the Ikemi flesh that I know 12 years back might have changed now. Just like your first chain that I couldn't recognize on the very first day we met at the restaurant. The Ikemi flesh I know years back is never harsh to anyone, not to talk of woman. But why as we were harsh to me that day? This made me believe that you might have changed and that I should watch you closer. I'm sorry, darling. What happened that day was an accident. But the way you shouted at me gave me no matter of apology. And I'm already late for my introduction. I had no time to wait saying I'm sorry. I just had to give you the check to know if you can calm down. It's all like me, sweetie. Believe me, the Ikeme flower you know years back is still the same now. Please forgive my trespasses. I love you so much. It hurts me. I'm so sorry, sweetie, for letting another man break your heart. Even I myself was also hurt. But that one has more hurt, Sha, because I didn't take it serious with her. I knew she's not meant for me, and I just have to wave it out. I know that when the right time come, I will see my NJ. And here you are, right in front of me. Please, Cindy, for the second time, will you be my roommate? Yes, I will. Thank you, Cindy. I missed you so much. But wait. Mind you, I'm a jealous lover. Evidence. Do it fast. Officer, I've been saying this. I'm not a Yahoo boy. I don't know the evidence you want me to show. I'm not a Yahoo boy. Will you do it first before I remove your head from your body, idiot? Please, Mirabelle, will you marry me? Beautiful girl. Uh, 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 Mama, tell me, say, don't you give up. 
Someday you're gonna kiss the girl.